Ah, Denmark, the home of great beer, Ike, and one of the most democratic nations on Earth. Today we're going to have a look at their armed forces, equipment, and total strength. We start off with the Royal Danish Army. Main battle tank, total operational, 40 plus. Leopard 2 A7, total operational, 40 plus. Leopard 1 A5, total in storage, 50 plus. IFVs, total operational, 40 plus. CV90 Mark III, total operational, 40 plus. Armored personnel carriers, total operational, 440 plus. Piranha 5, total operational, 360. Piranha 4, total operational, 80 plus. M113, total in storage, 130 plus. Infantry mobility vehicles, total operational, around 250. HMMWV 22, total operational, around 20. Eagle 4, total operational, around 80 plus. Eagle 5, total operational, 85 plus. Mastiff 3, total operational, 9. Supercat HMT 400, total operational, 15. Multi-purpose vehicles, Duro 3 6x6, total operational, 29. Artillery, total operational, around 20. Cardam Heavy Mortar, total operational, 21. M109 self-propelled gun, total in storage, 60 plus. Atmos 2000, total on order, 19. Hulls MLRS, total on order, 8. Anti-Air Artillery, Olicon Sky Ranger 30, total on order, unknown. Engineering Vehicles, total operational, 70 plus. Wizard ARV, total operational, 8 plus. Man BJVG, total on order, 11. Leopard 1 Biber, total operational, 8 plus. Leopard 2 Leguan, total operational, 3. Wizard 1 AEV, total operational, 2. JCB HMEE, total operational 6. Leopard 1 Mind Clearer, total operational 3. Spark 3 Mind Roller, total operational unknown. Hydrima MCV 910, total operational 16. Leopard 2 AEV, total on order 6. Logistics Vehicles, total operational 1200 plus. Man HX-77, total operational, 200. Man SX-45, total operational, 200. Scania variants, total operational, 900 plus. Utility vehicles, total operational, 2000 plus. Mortars, total operational, likely 1000 plus. M06 mortar, total in storage, likely 1000 plus. M252 Mortar, total operational, likely 100 plus. Sultam K6 Heavy Mortar, total operational, 20 plus. UAVs, total operational, unknown. RQ20 Puma, total operational, unknown. Black Hornet, total operational, unknown. Anti tank weapons, total operational, 2000 plus. M72 ECLAW, total operational 500 plus. AT4, total operational unknown. Carl Gustav M4, total operational 100 plus. Spike LR2, total operational 300 plus. Royal Danish Army, active personnel 18,000 plus. Reserve personnel 15,000 plus. Home Guard 45,000. Next up, Denmark's Air Force. Combat aircraft, total operational, around 40. F-16 AM, total operational, around 30. F-35 Lightning II, total operational, 10. Transport aircraft, C-130J Super Hercules, total operational, 4. Patrol and surveillance aircraft, Challenger 604, total operational, 4. Helicopters, total operational, 30 plus. Eurocopter Fennec, total operational, 10 plus. SH-60 Seahawk, total operational, 8 plus. 
AW101, total operational 12 plus. Trainer aircraft, total operational 40 plus. Royal Danish Air Force, active personnel 3,500. Reserve personnel, likely 1,000 plus. We now move on to the potent Danish Navy, tasked with controlling the entrance to the Baltic Sea. Frigates, total operational 9. Epsilon class, total operational 2. Ivor Fitfeld class, total operational 3. Thetis class, total operational 4. Patrol ships, total operational 9. Knut Rasmussen class, total operational 3. Diana class, total operational 6. Multi-purpose ships, Holm class, total operational 4. Mine warfare ships, Holm class MW, total operational 2. Auxiliary fleet, Gunnar Thorson class, total operational 2. Flyver Fiskin class, total operational 1. Light boats, total operational 30 plus. SB-90E, total operational 6. Naval Home Guard ship, total operational 29. Royal Danish Navy, active personnel 3,400. Reserve personnel, likely 1,000 plus. Before I move on to the analysis, I'd like to ask you if you could subscribe. My small channel would really benefit from it. Thank you. When gauging the overall picture for the Danish armed forces, there are important things to keep in mind. Denmark is one of the countries that have given most to Ukraine, and therefore some of their stored equipment is on the lower side. When looking at Denmark's upsides, there are some real standouts. When their F-35 are fully delivered, they'll have a super modern air force. Their navy is modern, well stocked, and has plenty of harbors to engage from. Having had the pleasure of serving with some Danish contingents on mission, I can tell you that their soldiers are known to be serious and professional. Denmark also boasts a large, fairly well-drilled home guard and their willingness to go above and beyond for their allies, as we've seen with their donations of pretty much all their artillery to Ukraine is commendable. The Danish armed forces have some things they can improve on. Denmark's armed forces lack any sort of ground-launched anti-air systems. They've got three extremely potent anti-aircraft frigates, but as we've seen in Ukraine, sea drones can easily take out ships with very little forewarning. The Danish army also lacks artillery, and while I don't doubt the quality of the two systems they've ordered, both come from Israel who are currently at war. In my opinion, it would be much wiser of Denmark to go for the Archer system, as this is produced much closer to home in Sweden. Denmark also lacks production outside of shipyards. While all the other Nordic countries make their own kit, Denmark is extremely reliant on other nations, and often countries not part of NATO. Lastly, Denmark is quite small geographically and would be quite hard to defend, but with the advent of Sweden joining NATO, this situation is close to irrelevant. The next video on the channel will be about the Nordics as a complete military unit and how this has changed the landscape of Europe. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.